Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Infantryman. And out of the gate, this is like probably one of my favourite of the G.I. Joe figures, mostly because his legs are actually sturdy in the thighs, so he's not falling and struggling to stand up. Like really the army builders of the G.I. Joe figures seem to be the best component, so that's just ridiculous. But there's so much effort in this guy compared to just like even major Marvel Legends characters. This guy has so much more detailing and stuff on his armor, his accessories are better. I mean, yeah, the amount of effort and work that has gone into what's just a generic trooper is insane. So all of his armor is textured. I'm not sure if my crappy camera is going to focus on that. No, no, it will not. Oh, there, there you go, there you go. Look at that. The symbol is so well done, he's got this grooves on his armor, the pants, which are a reuse of the Destro legs, I believe, uh, are also textured, if it will focus, come on, do it, nope, but, ugh, oh, very well detailed, the face sculpt is amazing, the helmet comes off, but look at the, you know, anger on those eyes, such a well done figure absolutely amazing from an aesthetic perspective and obviously the helmet just clamps right back on the legs the boots all look good and articulation wise he's got double jointed elbows so way more than 90 degrees a uh, little bit of a butterfly joint built in can get to 90 has a bicep swivel um, this is soft plastic his harness so it doesn't really hinder his movement too much, apart from his chest crunch. So you can bend over that much using the waist. He's also got a swivel at the waist. Head can do the full 360. Can look up that much, look down. Nah, not too much. Can he do a full splits? Yes, he can. He's also got a thigh swivel, double jointed knees. So way more than 90. And a really excellent looking pivot. Well, not looking, but a pivot that, you know, pivots. Can go down that much, can come up that much. So, yeah, masterfully articulated, great appearance. Accessories-wise, he's got two guns, both of which has holsters. Um, well, two small guns, then the big rifle, which clips onto his back, and a knife, which has a sheath. So he can hold all of his accessories, of which there are quite a few on him at the same time. A lot of Marvel Legends can't do the same. So... Again, he's just a really, really impressive six-inch figure that's bang for your buck. Lots of fun to be had with this guy. Um, we'll dive into the pictures, but I can't really fault this. He doesn't have the loose joints of the other G.I. Joes. He's got really, really nicely sculpted facial features. Just lots of playability. He doesn't come with extra hands, but considering the amount of weaponry he comes with and the sort of accessorizing components, I don't think I could justify it for the price. Like, this is a 5 out of 5 figure. Well done, Hasbro. Nice effort. Let's dive into the pictures and wrap this up. One sec. Okay, folks, and there you have it, the Cobra Infantry from G.I. Joe Classified. Yeah, really, really strong entry into the line. Perhaps one of the strongest entries, if I'm being honest. I mean, he doesn't have the floppy legs that so many have been plagued with. Uh, he does have some balance issues with the feet, but it's not huge. And then he's got a really good sculpt, great accessories, all of which he can have on him at the same time, which is awesome. Yeah, no real reason not to pick this guy up. He's just a really solid army builder figure. If you had a lot of these guys, they're going to look amazing, especially if you've also got the uh, Red Ninja. So, yeah, just very, very solid. If you like it, pick it up. And I guess, yeah, that's it for this review. If you enjoyed it, we have plenty more that we update frequently. Uh, we've also got Hero House, The Wreckers, Figure Fights, Top 10 lists, and Ranking lists. So loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time, and all the best. Bye.